Yaho, YouTube. I am super ganky. And in today's thought of the day, we are going to talk about indecisiveness. And YouTube, how many more times do we have to be indecisive before we learn to be more decisive? Jeez, I, I think I'm a decisive person, too. I think I make a lot of decisions and act upon my decisions. But today, I just wasn't able to make a decision because at like three o'clock in the morning yesterday I went to sleep at like eight o'clock. I woke up at three and I'm like, dude, I gotta do the MOOC. Now the MOOC is this project that assistant language teachers have to do over here in Spain in order to get recontracted for the next year. Now I've been thinking about recontracting, so I'm like, dude, man, I gotta do the MOOC. Now I had like five or six months. No, I had like four months. Yeah, four months to do this and I didn't do it. And I waited until the week that it's due because the college student inside of me is still alive and well and that procrastinator really kicked in. So I spent like four hours making a website, making like a PowerPoint, reading like the Britannica Encyclopedia, getting information about animal respiration, making quizzes and stuff, posting all this stuff and like portfolios. And then I'm like, it's seven o'clock. And I'm like, all right, what am I gonna do now? I'm like, I should probably get some rest. So I sleep for like 30 minutes, wake up, and I'm like, all right, what am I gonna do now? And I have no idea, so I should I read some manga, then it's like 10 o'clock, and I'm like, you know what I gotta do? I gotta go to Twitch, and I gotta redo my, old, my all my Twitch panels. So I did that, and then it was like, it was like, what's it called? It's like 11 o'clock, and I had no idea what to do. No idea whatsoever, and I couldn't make the decision. I knew I should have left my house, but I couldn't make the decision, right? So here I am, walking to the supermarket, I get some coffee because I was out of coffee. I get some like hot tea because I want hot tea in the mornings before my streams. Then I come home and then I'm like, I'm like scrolling, I'm scrolling through Instagram. Like I don't get it. I'm going, what am I doing? Eventually, my decisiveness kicks in and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna leave my house right now. So we left the house, went to my bike, and then I'm like, dude, where are my keys? Where are my keys? I check my pockets, I check my bag, I don't got my keys on me. My keys are somewhere in the house. And the reason I don't have my keys is indecisive. I'll tell you why. At every single point throughout the day, before I left the house finally that time, I had my keys on me. You see, if I had just got on my keys and went to the city center and gotten to work, this situation wouldn't have happened. And I wouldn't be locked out of my house. Now I gotta wait like seven or eight hours to get back into my house because my flatmates don't get back from work for seven or eight hours. And I got a lot of other stuff I gotta do later this evening. And let me just tell you, how many times, YouTube, do we have to make mistakes because of indecision before we learn to get more decisive in our life? This is a little thing, this is a little thing, but little things boil up to big things. And I swear, I'm gonna learn from this experience. I'm not letting this experience go to waste, man. Not letting this experience go to waste, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna use it, we're gonna get Yankee, and we're gonna become better versions of ourselves because in the reality, in the vast reality of things, you ain't gonna get some big thing that's gonna push you towards motivation. You gotta learn to use the little things. You gotta learn to use the little things. That's why they say the little things in life make the big things. The little things in life matter. You gotta learn to use the little things to get motivation because then you can consistently get motivation every single day. You can consistently get motivation every single day. If you're waiting for something big, you're never gonna have the motivation and time to act upon the opportunity, right? So that's what I'm here to say today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Leave a comment because I love responding to your comments with Genki Energy and Positivity. Share this video with your friends. And keep watching them, man. You're giving me hope. We're doing a lot of good work on Twitch, man. Join me on Twitch sometime, too. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.